15 minutes could save you 15% or more. My dad used to say that. Sure, yeah, it's from Geico. Yeah, whenever I would ask my dad for life advice, he'd sit me down and say, son, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. And look at me now, a well-adjusted adult with a drawer full of plastic bags I'll never use. (laughs) Okay, I'm confused. Was your dad a licensed Geico agent? Nah, he was just a real good dad. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Make it hot! Ooh, hot! Red hot, that's hot. That is hot. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. It's time for Halftime Heat, presented by Bartow Ford. Oh. Ian Beckles. Yesterday, my Halftime Heat was about my concerns about the state of our Lightning organization. Today, I'll be voicing my early concerns about these Rays. I'm completely aware that it's only four games into a 162-game season, but I'm not sure they're passing the eye test. I sat down on my Lazy Boy chair last night and prepared to watch our 2021 Rays, who we all assume will make the playoff, get shellacked by a lowly, a lowly Red Sox team who just got outscored 18-5 to in a series against the Orioles, who are hardly world beaters. The Rays are always built around pitching, and the names that I saw on the bump for the Rays last night were hardly effective and hardly efficient. I guess Michael Waka had a great spring, but he pretty much looked like the Waka who struggled his way to 6.6 ERA last year. I've never heard of Chris Meza or Maza or Mazeltov, but regardless, six runs in two and two-thirds ain't going to get it done. The Rays usually figure out ways to manufacture runs, but they will undoubtedly need more from the plate from players like Susugo, Yandy Diaz, to name a few. Kevin Kiermaier removed himself from the lineup early in the game with a left quadricep tightness. I've always said that KK is a pulse of this team, but I unfortunately think he may be, this may be the beginning of the end. He, he depends on his legs and they're letting him down. The Rays were lucky to even score two runs last night. They may have got shut, shut out if Darwinzen Hernandez didn't walk in two in the eighth. And he had to do, all he had to do was throw strikes because the Rays did a lot of swinging and missing last night. The Rays are two and two and it's only one debacle last night, but it did look worrisome. Work your magic, Kevin Cash, because I'm not convinced that is a contender yet. Go Rays. Jay Rutcher. I try not to get caught up in the quote-unquote sanctity of the game. I love things that are out of the ordinary, things that you don't see every day. I enjoy things like Conor McGregor in the boxing ring or Bad Bunny in the WWE. But to be a little bit more specific, I absolutely love players playing out of position. We saw it yesterday when the Tigers' blowout lost to the Twins. Detroit second baseman Harold Castro pitched the ninth inning. He didn't even give up a run. Good for you, Harold. This reminds me of some other great moments in sports history. How about Hall of Famer Wade Boggs on the mound throwing that knuckleball? Who could forget Magic Johnson filling in for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar at center in Game 6 of the 1980 NBA Finals and scoring 42 points en route to a 4-2 series win over the Sixers? Or how about Doug Flutie drop-kicking an extra point? Here's some of my other favorites. Famed Manchester United defender Rio Ferdinand actually had to play goalie in the 2008 FA Cup because the starting goalie Edwin van der Sar left to pitch with a groin injury and then his replacement Thomas Kuszczak was sent off with a red card. I remember when the Lightning had some injury woes a couple years ago and who stepped up to go take some shifts on the blue line? You guessed it, the big man Brian Boyle. I love seeing Julio Jones or Calvin Johnson playing in the secondary to defend a Hail Mary and who doesn't love seeing guys like the Fridge or Vita Vea playing offense, right? Just another reason why sports are so great sometimes you see things you never expect to see who did i miss i'm sure there's a bunch more let us know 15 minutes could save you 15 percent or more my dad used to say that sure yeah it's from geico yeah whenever i would ask my dad for life advice he'd sit me down and say son 15 minutes could save you 15 percent or more and look at me now, a well-adjusted adult with a drawer full of plastic bags I'll never use. <laughs> okay, I'm confused. Was your dad a licensed Geico agent? Nah, he was just a real good dad. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more.